I had a, such a good dinner right now. And some chicken. Ah, ha, ha. Here's the deal. You might have guessed, just as title states. This is not a video about the chicken. This is not a video about the knudels. Knedlich. This is a video about the Novo Mesto police. This here was a favorite food of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch and of the, in a parenthesis, police officer, uniformed criminal, Mr. Pevets who met me at the police station the other day when I stopped by with idea to create incident, what was it, June 21st, 2024, shit, you see this here, 11 plus another 10, 11, three weeks, and I'm still investigating the incident. The funny thing about these videos of mine is that for everything I state is, I have proofs. What he would do is, talking about the uniformed, in a parenthesis, police officer Pevets, he would come to our house and then he would cook himself for himself here, during the work, during the job. He was not the only one. Others did the same thing. During MK Ultra, this house here was considered as a police house. <laughs> but in a very, in a relatively very, very late stage when it applies to MK Ultra and solely to excuse extermination procedure against me. So it would look more like acceptable than for what it was and for what it is. Um, what exactly is happening here? Police barricaded itself here, I told you about. This is no nothing to investigators. Uh, now, I tried to become a law enforcement officer myself in the U.S., in the U.S., and uh, I never, I never really had anything against the police. I'm more a police person than against police. And so, I didn't mind these guys come here and, uh, like Mr. Pevets did, he would put his feet in a bucket. Yeah, he would come here, uh, peel himself a bucket, and put right where I sit at. Uh, he would just put his feet in the bucket and would do whatever he would do. Read, computer, wherever, wherever he would do. Sounds interesting to you? Um, it was like this for some time before they declared one a police house. And what became yeah, very late, very, very late for the police and uh, useless really totally useless it's gonna be a bigger disgrace for the police to get to know these people it became known as a police house because officially officially the official talk about officially literally, with police officers suggesting people that were in the area, probably with people they had agreement with, whatever, uh, to just come and report the crime to our house here. 
I told you this is no bullshit video. I don't do bullshit videos. I do the good good stuff. My messages are they do they do have they do have certain weight in it. And yeah, it would be a, it would be people from the area that would stop here, meet the police and report the crime. Literally during MK Ultra, but this started very late. This started sometime in 2000 and will not say. I have to think over. I have to know. I have to feel it. I have to see it. The timing. It's got to be. It's got to be there. Two thousand and twelve, two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen, something like that. Even two thousand and nine, beginning like two thousand and nine, they would also use this house to come here and eat in peace, cook themselves, prepare themselves for a food officially. And this is because dispatcher told me the other day, police dispatcher told me the other day how busy they are in this and that. You're no fucking busy. You're up to no fucking good. And this police dispatcher who whom I have spoken with have done something very, very bad to me. Something that I was told reminded. He reminded me. They remind you. When they do something bad to you, they remind you. They want you to remember this. And in specific instance involving dispatcher when I was locked outside the house, <laughs> in, it involved also Pevitz, his boss, who instructed him to be as nasty as possible to degree that I would eventually come at the police station and file police report against him. For what he also instructed him to get me arrested. It was also discussion about what would it be if I would go to the police station and report him for giving me uh, a shit service, literally over the phone. And it was, again, uniformed police officer with three stars that advised him to fuck me if I come at the police station to absolutely get me arrested. So, but this is a video um, in respect to dispatcher, I stated this guy does not have beard. This guy looks like this. Uh, the guy I was talking about The guy I was talking about that is about to replace um, <clears throat> Mr. Pevitz and already became like a shift supervisor. I'm going to put the link below when I was locked outside. Um, Trying to find more or less looks like this. This will be like a facial features, more or less like <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> beard, a much lesser beard than that, much lesser, much less strong. But something like this, more or less, something like that. Trying to find. I don't actually find anything.
He would more or less look like something like this, younger, at age 40, something like that, and with much less beard. This is the man who will replace, he is about 100, maybe even 90 centimeters. Actually, you play like a really nice guy, polite. The, the guy who will supposedly replace Pivots on his shift and already did in a big way. Uh, nights, however, afternoons. You could even say like a shift supervisor, something like that, his assistant. And the dispatcher, the way the dispatcher would look like, um, the dispatcher who got on the, Hey, uh, the guy who's going to replace him, more or less, would go into this category here, something like this. But it's 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 different. Something like this. Hey, this is something in that sense. Hey, you you already got an idea about more or less what I demonstrated to you. It's like more or less what we are talking about. That's what the guy who will replace pivots will look like. Uh, know that I have not seen these people, right? In real time, we have not met ever. So this is all, 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 everything out of memory. Everything I am talking about is out of memory. I'm giving you a description of the people. Now, the dispatcher with whom I have spoken on the phone, that guy would more or less look like this. Something like this. Different. Hey, different, like this. Let me see if I find something else more interesting. Okay, the guy who will replace... The guy who will replace... The guy who will replace... Uh, Ogolin, I mean Ogolin. Um, Pivots. There was a lot of talk about his name, Pivots. More or less, more or less, something like this, if this guy would be more clean-shaved, you know? Something like this. Um, also, like, sometimes he had, like, bearded like this, but less, you know, less, less visible. Um, that's that. That's supposed to be a shift supervisor. And the guy who supposed to, who supposed I was a dispatcher, according to MK Ultra scenario, would have looked like something like this, in that sense. You know? This is basically what we are talking about. This is basically what we are talking about, more or less. Yeah? So the word is still about, um, the word is still about Mr. Pivots. The word here is still about Mr. Pivots. Uh, I have created so many posts about this stuff that what I'm going to do is I am just going to go ahead and I will... Um, it's still about this guy here, you know? Still we are talking about this guy here. And I'm going to make an upgrade. He claimed he had two daughters, that he had two daughters. That's what he claimed, that he had two daughters. 
Initially, he advertised me daughter for the wife. This is how this pivots got even more in the picture. This is what, what, like, what, this is basically what he had used to get close to me. His daughter, supposedly. And he claimed he even had two daughters. I don't know if he does have two daughters. I don't know if he does have two daughters. In 2008, he advertised one son for sure. He advertised one son for sure. And then, suppose there was another one. Which are which will be like two sons. And he was switching children with a sister. Uh, and with the relatives, maybe from wife or whatever. Very, very, very difficult for me to know what's going on. Uh, maybe, 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 just maybe I'm going to say maybe even two daughters. Maybe he does have even two daughters. I started to get suspicious about him having a son. Even this, even I started to get suspicious about him having a son. But that's what he advertised me. Two daughters. So we are talking about this guy here. He would come in a house also and I was really, really happy about whenever he would come. I definitely don't mind him, a police, to have a police. Um, one thing that makes you, make me happy, um, I absolutely did not have any problem with uh, with hosting police here. I actually was the one who suggested them, make yourself comfortable. Uh, I mean, you can come here at absolutely any time you want. This is the way it is. This is this is the way I was. I was really happy to have a police. Yeah? Uh, that would be a good caricature on him. Except that he doesn't have hair. We spoke, I did describe about that issue. So, suppose as a guy has a two two daughters and he had a really interesting approach really really interesting 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 approach uh, he um, he knew how to psychologically how to make one thing is, is his friend uh, and you know, advertise the daughters, but there is something else to it, you know. One time I was, I, they delivered me home, and this happened at times that, that when I would come home they would have people in complete dark walking around. Uh, but this was a really dark scenario when they delivered me home and uh, and I came here in a hallway through the door here and I came in a hallway here just so beautifully can can uh, the camera record uh, like you would have a night vision I'm surprised uh, and he was with a gun he was armed with a gun and he had two other police officers with him and he started to death threaten me he started to death threaten me that if uh, he didn't do this on one occasion, he did it twice, and he started to death threaten me. When you see us inside in here, advertising dark inside of the house, no lights. This was without lights turned off in the pitch dark night. Batteries were used to terrorize with this issue. Gun. It will be already too late for you. Something that was not isolated. Nurse Yanko had exactly this kind of system and for whom they suggested once you see this guy inside in your house it's already too late for you. Well, what's interesting is um, what they had on their mind uh, they had on their mind what they suggested me would be basically my mother obviously my father my parents whatever they had on their mind uh, I will not exclude the possibility of killing my parents 
and blaming me for it. Because otherwise, I don't know what the fuck would be scary about it. I don't actually, doesn't come any kind of other scenario, doesn't come to my, uh, to my mind. Uh, Janis Ogulin, an ex-director of Novo Mesto Police, insisted that police has to train on how to break inside of the house below where the garage is, the middle garage, where the windows are. Uh, like a SWAT team that they have to train themselves uh, to break inside. Well, the thing is that even today, July 11, 2024, I don't know what they insisted that in front of me. Obviously, they would kill me, etc., etc., but I try to picture the scenario, what exactly that would be used for. Like, how the fuck are you going to use this? Or it was maybe something that they would break inside of the house and just go on uh, to kill me, which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me doesn't make any fucking sense to me why why would they do this everybody would know this and another thing is it's so much easier to do it outside why would you why would you go and do that i mean that's a nonsense and it was the same shit when you see them inside it's already too late for you i didn't get this the only thing that really worried me was that they would do something to my father and to my mother and blame me for it. This is something what my mother have fortified during MK Ultra by insisting me that through the suicide threats that if I would not be nice to her that she would even leave the doors open when she would do it. If I would be nice to her, however, that she would lock herself inside. So, this is not a guest lighting. This is a little bit of both. Mr. Pevitz, however, knew, and it appeared to me would have something to do with the British royals. It appeared to me that because he was completely sold to the British royals, this guy. This guy was an individual for whom British royals suggested, we will work with this guy, with this guy, with this guy, with this guy. It's like you go to the catalog and you pick up uh, the people. In reality, they were picking up the crimes and every one of those crimes I was subjected to and they tried to realize would destroy me. Indefinitely. Further, Mitya Weber, that's a niece's husband, insisted that at night time I should not even go and walk, leaving the mother alone at home. Neighbors insisted that once I get into the fight with the police, I shouldn't even go anywhere, etc., etc. Obviously, they were very much obligated in keeping me inside doors, indoors, keep me locked inside. Um, yet, they all work together, as you know. I'm going to have another video coming. For July 9, when I took my mother to a physician on another examination and where an individual from Trebnia appeared involved in Mount Everest of torture, to handshake with me, with his wife, uh, with what was a sister of his wife, I think. Not mom, but sister, I think it was.
and for which incident, because it's an incident, I was explained by the police during MK Ultra. This kind of incidents always take place where there are cameras. You're always on a camera, and these cameras are tied straight to the Nalomesto Police Department. I was told, well, we will be doing this stuff like this. Uh, that incident that took place supposedly that has no camera, but it was according to MK Ultra, which they guaranteed me there will be cameras. Even the girl that sitting right there and phones and cameras, etc., etc. Uh, individual who gave me a hand, who involved, who was involved in Mount Everest of torture, and has a business next to the Ribnik Blato, a pond, a fishing pond. Blato is the name, and he's got a barn there. He does a sale, sales. This individual did exactly what he told me he would do during MK Ultra. He had a telephone here and had a fucking camera on recording me steps to me and gives me a hand i give him a hand and i recall the scenario that he will be doing this stuff to apologize crime against me basically and i also recall the scenario that police have stated me will do the stuff like this to develop situations they anticipated that I would go and, uh, I don't know, attack one or something like that. Uh, yell at one, scream at one, whatever. And for which police, now master police insisted me, we will collect issues like this. And once we will collect issues like this, we will get you incarcerated, hospitalized, whatever it will be. Uh, and we'll have our investigator investigate these issues and it will be up to you whether you're going to, in a parenthesis, cooperate with us or not cooperate with us. And they presented me a police investigator during MKUltra, which started to dictate me, if you're not going to cooperate with me and this and that, then you're going to stay locked, incarcerated, whatever. That's how the Slovenian police wanted to, through assistance, they call this help resolve this case that's why i told the lady this was the only department this department where i was at with my mother where i was not physically tortured i was psychologically harassed in respect to my mom and all kinds of other issues but not physically tortured like i was physically tortured in some other departments like for instance when i went and reported myself for COVID, when i went and i, re I reported myself for examination uh, due to problems I had. That's where you fucking tie me on the bed during an ultra and scratch my throat with a, with a feeding tube and stuff like this through the nose and stuff. I mean, dehydrated and so on fucking kill you in one day from pain and suffering and real injuries inside of the hospital cause to me and release you home for others to continue to handle you during MK Ultra, continue with MK Ultra procedure. This is what the fuck went on. Park a diesel a car, a diesel a diesel truck, a, a van right outside of this room and had a diesel uh, truck I run whole fucking day long to push as much as possible exhaust fumes into the room which is located next to this office where I was tied literally to the bed and drugged up and I had to suffocate myself literally with uh, exhaust from the car that was entering inside of the room. This shit went on inside of the novel Mesto General Hospital. This is not a fucking joke. This is not a bloody joke. Stuff like this. This is the kind of stuff they have. Scratch your throat with a tube and stuff like this. Tie you to the fucking bed for 12, 16 hours. And then take you somewhere else to torture for more torture and so on. 
This shit went on for 35 years at the General Hospital. No, 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 excuse me. This shit went on, just like I explained, since I was a child. I don't know how old I was when I went on a surgery, Zhrelnica. It started up before that, about two years before that, at General Hospital. I was a child. Yeah, this is... This is, this is Slovenia, Slovenia, okay? Prince Charles had a way, Prince Charles had a way to convince me after he would do, talking about the pivots here, the uniformed police officer, uh, Threatened, gun threatened in the dark, at a pitch dark night. And it was other officers that did this shit too. All of a sudden you would have officers inside. This did not happen twice. It actually happened more than twice. Uh, to talk to me about how I wouldn't be upset, right? You wouldn't report, right? Like, you know, you and I, we have a special relationship and I do the stuff like this. You understand me. Because I'm trying to help you out, and I'm trying to help you out in this sense because I want to see if you would complain. If you are brother enough for me to trust you, I'm testing you out. This is how they have referred. This is how they started to refer. This gun night visits here in the house, which was supposedly empty, and I will return in the middle of the night. Eh? So. This guy Pivots and a whole bunch of other people, they're due to some answers. They're due to some answers. They have to answer some answers in respect to this stuff. They have to explain certain issues, exactly what they meant by these things. Now the Prince Charles claimed that he's in no danger till these people exist. They claimed, however, I will never get to the British Royals. We'll never get them, etc., etc., etc. They were very, very sure. Oh, I think fairly, fairly too sure. So this is also the stuff I wanted to mention in the video. Also about this type of issues. Police house. The police house started to be a police house and they started to refer to one as a police house in 2000 and like, I don't know, 2000 and shit, like 2012, 2013, after they threw me inside of the psychiatric hospital, where the officers started to suggest that they don't agree with this procedure against me, that they don't like this kind of procedure, that it's not just that I have been thrown into the psychiatric hospital and stuff like this. Well, the thing is, Nobody stopped by here to stop this tragedy from going forward. Nobody did a fucking thing. And unfortunately, unfortunately for Mr. Pivots, his shiza about his, how he's going to break my head, how it would be the best to break my head at his village, under Gorianzi, which I already have described here, Stopice. Uh, like in, the, in the center, I think, of the village, close to the church, close to, he would walk me to the store. They, he would have others to walk me to the store and so on. There's one store, Mantel or Mandela, I don't know. Um, all, everything, everybody involved in a torture over there. Um, that stuff happened for him very relatively, even late. It was very, very late. He started to fuck with that issue relatively late, like in 2015, something like this. 2014, 2015 is when he had me over there. I don't know, it looks like he changed his mind or whatever and felt like the best would be just to break my head and I would know anything. Yeah, this is where we are at. Threatened me, life threatened me that if I will open my mouth that he's got other people and this and that with the Ogulin, <laughs> with Director Ogulin, 
with your neighbor Terlin here, neighbor here, that they have other people that they will take care of me if I will complain and so on. <coughs> Doesn't matter how many life threats I receive, probably 10 million. What matters is this around here, what the fuck went on? Zoo. Zoo. With one word, zoo. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned.